Starring Carey Mulligan, Far From the Madding Crowd is a period piece with a flair for the dramatic. Adapted from the Thomas Hardy novel from the 1800s, this is a romance of soap opera proportions. Bathsheba Everdeen is a headstrong and confident young woman who finds herself the sole proprietor of an expansive farm left to her by a late uncle. Returning the farm to its former glory turns out to be easy compared to dealing with three very different and very determined suitors she's faced with over the course of this story. Despite originating from an 1874 serial, I get the sense that director Vinterberg has imbued his version with modern sensibilities. The film seems to a degree aware of just how overdramatic it can be. Riffing on convention just a tad, it makes excellent use of well-written, witty banter that had the crowd hooting and laughing along. While staying respectful of the original story, it's given a modern sheen. In addition to sharp writing, the on-screen depiction of Old England is flat-out gorgeous at times. Misty woods are enchanting, and farm life never looked so romantic. Mulligan portrays Bathsheba with gusto, creating an overwhelmingly likable, if somewhat exaggerated, heroine. While not my, quite my sort of film, I still found myself enjoying it a lot more than I expected to. For those who like Nicholas Sparks in theory, but have grown tired of the same story, tired characters, and cliché conventions with less than stellar writing, this is the sort of thing they are going to love. There's a spark here not often found in modern romance. It also doesn't fall into the trap of acting like a stodgy period piece of literature with old sounding words and an outdated feel, but it's also not a modern update. Vinterberg has captured what I think is the feeling those first readers would have gotten from this story, and placed it in a film in a way current audiences can digest and enjoy. I give Far From the Madding Crowd a 4 out of 5. I'm Hamilton Whitney, and you can check out full reviews of this and other films, as well as movie screening giveaways on filmhamster.com.